Hey everyone, today we're gonna show you a really slick little trick. It's how to open up a can. If you can't find a can opener, if you are out and about and lost your can opener, or you just plain don't know how to open up a can in an emergency situation. Who likes short how-to videos? This is one of those. Welcome back to all the subs. I appreciate you guys. If you're new here and like weekly tips, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Like I said, an emergency happens or even worse, something really bad happens. Who stocks up what kind of food? People stock up on canned foods. So you're always gonna be able to find canned foods. And if you're just out there and you just plain forgot a can opener, this is a sweet little trick to know. It's probably one of the most interesting ways to open a can that I know of. I've definitely got other creative ways to open cans without a can opener, but let's jump into this. So all you're gonna need is a can and a spoon. Everybody can usually find a spoon. What you're gonna do is grip this spoon fairly hard and you're gonna get a low grip on it and just go back and forth, back and forth. Do not super strong, just go back and forth more. And once you pop through there, then you're gonna just go around. Go around with the, go around with the spoon like a saw. Just go down. Get rid of that little bit of that liquid so that way we don't make a huge mess. But you're just gonna simply go around and do this little rocking motion, just like that, all the way around. Some cans will be a little tougher, other ones will be easier. And once you get around, you leave a little bit of a tab and you peel it up. And you're ready to eat whatever's in your can. And like I've said before in other videos, do it. Get your hands on experience, try it real life, do it one time. It'll be muscle memory in your brain forever. And you will always know, as long as you can find a spoon or something similar to a spoon, you can open a can in an emergency. And if this one happens to just be too difficult for you, let me know in the comments below. I've got another one that I could show you if you guys are liking this kind of stuff. But this one's a really good one to know whether you're into emergency preparedness or you're a prepper. This skill will always come in handy. If you guys like tips like this, don't forget to hit the like button. Share it if you thought it was cool. Notification bell if you want to stay up to date on these weekly tips. We'll see you guys on the next one.